Hey guys, what's going on? This is Dr. Matt Winning at winningstrength.com. And today's topic for our YouTube channel is peptides. Now, peptides get a lot of uh, exposure on the internet. You hear a lot of people talking about them. And through a lot of questions that I had on um, my private Patreon channel, I wanted to kind of go into what peptides are and if they are right for you. Um, again, my doctorate is in exercise science, kinesiology. Um, I've studied peptides a little bit, but as I have gotten more and more into uh, peptide usage through my kidney issues that I found out I had last year, I felt like it was time for me to have a little video on it and talk to you guys a little bit about some of my experience with peptides and some of the things that I have seen as a massive benefit that is also backed in research as well. So first we wanna to get to what are peptides? Well, peptides are biological compounds made up of two or more amino acids. They perform many purposes and functions in the body and they also have regulatory responses. Now, it sounds like it's a long and drawled out what peptides are, but they're basically broken down proteins that are assimilated in different ways in order to make the body do what it's supposed to do with those particular areas. We do have peptides naturally floating around in our body that help and perform these particular functions. So it's not necessarily an anabolic steroid per se, because we've had that question before. Hey Matt, what is a peptide? Is it like an anabolic steroid? The answer is no. But we also have to remember that testosterone is also a naturally occurring hormone in the body and that when we take it synthetically, it still is an external progressor. Peptides, not exactly sure the history behind them, um, but I do know that a lot of regenerative and performance and weight loss areas are starting to utilize them um, predominantly in the higher level areas for these particular problems. So why would we, would we need them? So if our body naturally makes them, and we have them already floating around in our system, why do we need external peptides? That's a great question. But if you start looking at EDCs, which are endocrine disruptor chemicals, um, we have parabens, sulfates. These are things that are in our shampoos, deodorants, body washes. If we're a mechanic or a welder, the amount of chemicals and heavy metals and gases that we may be around on a daily basis are huge. Our level of pollution is much different now than it was even a couple of hundred years ago before the Industrial Revolution. Coal burning, oil burning, gasoline, you know, all these different chemicals can, in some people, be hormone disruptors and endocrine disruptors, which is the same thing. But basically meaning that a lot of times the toxins that were around are a huge factor in possibly needing some of these peptides in order to re restore or obtain a higher level of performance. Another big thing that we have to look at for peptides is why do we need them on another aspect is diet. So for a lot of us, especially the general population, we eat like garbage. And so when we eat like garbage, a lot of these processed foods take away a lot of our ability to make these peptides and make them functional because our body's fighting different wars on different fronts versus attacking one particular goal. So although that we may be going to the gym to get stronger, if we're fighting poor sleep habits, poor diet habits, possibly no exercise, or the wrong amount of exercise um, for our bodies, then we start to create this huge problem. Another major issue can be dehydration. I've never been a huge fan of energy drinks. Um, I think that the small dose of energy that it gives you has a major problem in the long run with dehydration and also you have your a lot of hormonal different responses you'll get adrenal fatigue from them as well so you see people that like to drink energy drinks they drink them constantly not only for like just big competitions or whatever they're going to drink um you know an energy drink to go do bicep curls <laughs> you know what i mean so i think we have to be careful with those things as well and i'm not getting on too much of a tangent on diet but what i want you guys to understand is that this stuff is multifactorial, meaning that, you know, peptides are a huge help because we are slightly poisoning ourselves every day. And even some of the natural things that we have 
in our normal lives, like sunlight that's shining into me in my office right now. So that reduces our ability and inefficiency in our cellular processes to be able to, to make or utilize these particular peptides correctly. So that comes down to optimization. So if you're thinking about utilizing a peptide style dosage, or doctors are trying to tell you this, it's always gonna help the healthier that you are. This means that starting an exercise regimen, being eating healthy and eating quality foods on a consistent basis and having an exercise program are gonna be a huge factor in if the peptides really do their job. Now, can they be helpful even if you're morbidly obese and you haven't been to the gym in 10 years? Yes, they can, but they're not gonna work as well. And so optimization is crucial. And I'm sure that any doctor, regardless of what their stance on optimization is gonna be, or peptides is gonna be, is gonna tell you that being optimal as a human is gonna be more potent no matter what drug you take. So the healthier you are, the better the outcome. So the big thing is for absorption, and this can be a huge roadblock for a lot of people. Most times peptides need to be subcutaneously injected with an insulin syringe. Now I know that there are a lot of companies that make pills and nasal spray, but the problem with those delivery systems is that they're inefficient. You probably lose quite a bit of the amino acid profile once that is done that way because stomach acid is insanely toxic in nasal spray. It's probably not that effective. So the top companies mostly stay away from that and go to subcutaneous injection primarily. A lot of that was done for people that have a frightened or scare of needles, which is totally understandable, but after a while, you kind of get used to it. Now, there are all different kinds of peptides. We're not going to go into this video. We're already at seven minutes. But what I want you guys to realize is that there are a lot of good doctors that are utilizing peptides, and they're also prescribing peptides for healing properties. I'm sure a lot of you guys have heard of BPC-157. My kidney doctor put me on SS31 um, to help with mitochondrial type efficiency and function. And I've been on it for a little while and I've noticed that my blood has stabilized and a lot of my different um, positions on my blood work have gotten a lot better. So for me personally, I have seen some progression in that. Now, so now that you know that winning strength is a is a proponent of, of these peptides, what I would like you guys to do is if you really want to know what reputable brand my doctor turned me on to, please go on to Patreon and I will give you all the information plus a discount code for this particular brand that has been prescribed to me by my own personal doctor. So this is one of those things, guys, that you know is very difficult to find because you can get on the internet and you can find probably thousands of companies that make it. But it's sterilization. If you're going to go as far as doing subcutaneous injections, you need to make sure it's sterile. You need to make sure it's come from a reputable company and you need to make sure it is what it says on the bottle. So these things are very crucial. And um, again, I wish I could go and see my kidney doctor for free, but it doesn't work that way. So point being is if you want the information that I have and you want the connection that I have for the peptides, then come on to Patreon and we'll try to hook you up with the proper brand and a code to give you save you a little bit of money, probably far exceeding what you're even going to have to pay to be a Patreon member. So hopefully this video helps you guys out a little bit. Hopefully it gets you in the right direction. And if nothing else, it optimizes what you're already doing. So don't think that that medication and peptides and all this is the end all be all. You need to be healthy before you start any of this stuff. And the healthier you are, the more benefits you're going to see. So go visit winningstrength.com. Hopefully we'll see you on Patreon and talk to you guys soon.